All right, we're here with Jacob Squires, Hockey PEI High Performance alumni, just back from his camp at the National U-17s in Calgary. Jacob, tell us a little bit about camp today. Yeah, it was a really cool experience, you know, being with the best 112 players in Canada. It's obviously an honor getting to put on the Maple Leaf for the first time. Uh, something you can't take for granted, you know, there's lots of kids that would like to be in my shoes out there. So I took advantage of every opportunity to head out there. Um, you know, it was a long camp. Uh, I left on Sunday. Um, first day was orientation day. Then we had three days of practice, two hour practices each day for three days it was. Um, then we got into games and we played three games with morning skates each morning. So it was lots of ice. Uh, you really take care of your body, but it was an awesome experience. What are some key takeaways from attending this camp that you look to use this season? Yeah, I think the seminars is a big thing. Um, we had lots of seminars in between practices, so we had them in food, nutrition, rest and recovery, our mental performance, and uh, sleep too, and social media as well. So I think the big one, hydration, is something that I really didn't take, I guess took it seriously, but no, it's something I just didn't need to take it more consideration, I guess. Um, so I, every day we did a urine test, and I tested how hydrated we were. Um, I didn't really know how big hydration was in the game of hockey until this week, so going into Rowan, um, I think that's a big thing going to their camp, my hydration. Um, just being hydrated uh, keeps your muscles keeps your muscles loose and ready to go at any time, so I think I need to take that consideration. So you speak about Rowan, um, obviously you have some of your goals of your own this season. How does this camp help you achieve those goals? Yeah, right now the goal is to make Rowan. Um, can't look too much ahead. Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough camp. I'm really excited for it. Um, you know, this camp here in Calgary helped my confidence a lot. There's really fast, fast paced games out there. So being able to make plays at a high speed um, is something that is at the major junior level. So I think it helped my confidence a lot being out there, um, making plays out there and playing with some of the best players in Canada. So I'm feeling really confident in my game right now and I can't wait to get started. What was one of your favorite sessions uh, during the camp? Yeah, I think uh, being with their mental coach, Kyle McDonald, um, he was a really good guy to be around. He was with us every day, pretty much. Um, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, just learning about the mental game, how important it is in hockey, how mentally strong you have to be, because in hockey there's lots of up and down. So he just got control of the control. Um, and so he was really good to me. Uh, even at the end of the week when we had our individual meetings, uh, he just talked to me about being confident and all that. So I think that really helped me. And uh, I'll take it into next year too. And then on the ice, uh, I think the battle practice was really fun. Getting a battle against the top 112 players across Canada, that was re really fun. Um, seeing their strengths as a player, how they use their strengths versus my strengths, and just trying to beat them one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-twos and all that, I thought that was really fun. Were there some key pieces that you learned throughout the Hockey PEI High Performance Program that helped you during this camp? Yeah, for sure. I think carrying yourself as a person is a big one. Um, you know, when you go to the Atlantic Challenge Cup in October, you're, you're U14, you're just, you're just a 13-year-old kid. Um, it's the first time for pretty much, or for me, I guess, when I went there, first time staying in a hotel without my parents. So if you don't have your parents with you to go say, you know, go eat that, go drink that, to get ready, um, you have to really take in consideration for yourself if you want to be ready to go for game time. You know, it's a, it's a long tournament, so you got to be ready to go each and every day. Um, I think that the nutrition too, just what you put in your body is a big one. No, you can't be going out with the boys, going down the street to get some candy or whatever. No, you gotta put some fuel in your body so you're able to perform. And just the way you carry yourself as a person too, um, saying please and thank you for people opening the doors for you, or even your hockey PEI staff, that's a big one. And even the hotel staff just saying please and thank you is big too. And you speak on nutrition, I guess a few questions here from our Instagram members. What's your favorite pregame meal? Yeah, probably chicken alfredo pasta with broccoli. And another one here, how long have you been playing hockey for? Uh, I started when I was four years old. All right, thanks Jacob. No problem.